I am new to makeup and I am learning makeup and so it's exciting for me to share kind of what I've learned along the way. This is a very light makeup tutorial from a beginner to a beginner. I'm so nervous. So before any makeup, we're actually gonna dry cleanse our face. I use a Head & Shoulders for my acne. Put it dry on your face, rub it around, and then use water to wash it off. It cleanses your face a lot better. Then we're gonna start with our moisturizer. Make sure you have SPF to protect your skin. I freaking love CeraVe. Am I red enough? <laughs> then just take some chapstick and put it on your lips to soften your lips before you put anything on them later. Next, I'm going in with the Pleasing Pearlescent Illuminating Serum. I use this as a primer because I don't use foundation. I love this because it's really hydrating for the skin, but also it just like makes your skin kind of glow. I love it. Next up, concealer. I use NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. So it's kind of like skincare and concealer at the same time. Put a little bit on the back of my hand and I spot conceal. So I just put it on the areas that I need it and I do a little bit right here, right here, and anywhere I want to get rid of redness. Okay. I just blend it out with my fingers because that's the easiest way to kind of get it to match your skin and also you have more control over it. Just trust the process. Kind of a mustache I have to take care of. Whatever you do, just avoid getting it in your hair. <laughs> Now that we are concealed, uh, we're gonna go in with e.l.f. Brow Lift for the eyebrows. Take your brush and kind of tap it in like this and go against your eyebrows first. So make them look real weird and fluffy and then you go back over them. I don't do the full like up spiky eyebrows thing. I kind of do this and then I flatten them out. Same thing on the other side. There we go. Again, this is very light, so I don't use a pencil or anything to color them in. I just use clear brow gel and move on. Last step is eyelashes. I just bought the Shishido eyelash curler. Everybody was talking about it, saying it was like way better than a $2 eyelash curler from like a drugstore. And I was not a believer because I'm very cheap, um, but unfortunately it is way better than a $2 eyelash curler. <laughs> I didn't realize I was basically chopping my eyelashes off slowly over time with my really cheap eyelash curler. So I'm really glad I got this. Once you curl, we go in with mascara. Do not curl your eyelashes after you have mascara on. That is like the number one way to rip your eyelashes. Out. The reason that I love this waterproof mascara so much, and don't worry about this, we'll go and clean it up. I am a very big sweater, and so all day if I don't wear waterproof mascara, I will just get those like dark circles under my eyes, and it frustrates me so much. This is why I don't wear eyeshadow. And a bonus step if you do want color on your lips is like a lipstick or a tinted chapstick of some kind. I feel most comfortable with tinted chapstick because I feel like an imposter when I'm wearing lipstick. It just is, doesn't look like me. I use Rel Beauty. It's like my favorite, favorite, favorite tinted chapstick in the shade, absolutely. And that is my makeup. <laughs>